everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Final Fantasy XIV Online Let's Play. And we are back, and today, I'm going to pick up the main story quest, uh, but then I want to make sure we do some of these side quests. One, we have a package to deliver at Fort Job, and two, um, I want to do this, uh, what are we, ranged magical damage quest. So we'll do that too. Say, I don't believe I know you. Did you join the guard recently? Nah, man. Ha! Huh. So that is the way of it. Well, you managed to arrive, and that's all that matters in the end. I bid you welcome to the Austal Imperative, one of our key strongholds in Lakeland. The first thing you'll want to do is report to the captain. You'll find her at the lookout across the way. Okay. And I got the Aether right, right? I think so. I better check. <laughs> I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we got this last time. Fairly certain, but I just want, I, I need to make sure. Yes, okay. All right, we'll talk to Alina. Um, and then I think after we turn this in, we'll break away from this piece of it and go do the other ones before we start this sort of assault thing. So it seems that rather than the Amaro delivering you, you delivered the Amaro. I'll not thank you. I expect all my soldiers to make themselves useful. Speaking of which, I have a task for you. Thanks. This... is this a better weapon than what we have? It is. Yes, thank you. I would like this. Okay. Applewood staff. Oh, it looks cool. A cool looking staff, but I really want the other one back. Also, 395, and I think we have 400, yeah. 385, 385, okay. We're pretty good. How are we on? I mean, we're okay here. I will want to watch for some better earrings, so. The Oracle of Light. In readiness for the operation, the Amaro will need to be treated with the same serum as us. As you well know, however, it is not pleasant. In order to coax them into taking it, we have sprinkled it in their fodder. All that remains is to feed it to them. A task I am sure you will enjoy. Fetch the fodder from the Amaro launch and see to four of the beasts. Dismissed. Alright. Well, because I- Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> okay. Um... We'll come back for those. Right now, I want to go to Fort Job. And I got that eighth right, I think. Hello? Yes, there. We'll turn this in, because uh, I think this is an Aether current itself. Looks like we have a few more here. Chathwick. A package. Ah, food for mother. Everyone will be so pleased. Her last letter mentioned how distraught she was to hear the members of the guard had given their lives at Holminster Switch, and how touched that so many more risked themselves to protect it. But of course she would be. Our whole family is from there, after all. I expect that she wanted to express her feelings by preparing food for us. She does that. Wait a moment. You were at Holminster, Holminster Switch too, weren't you? I saw you on the front lines. I knew it. I don't think I could ever forget the sight of you facing down eater after eater without ever once flinching. And it's not just me. You're an inspiration to all of us. Here's an idea. What if you pass these out to the rest of the guard? I'm sure that they'll be awestruck. Okay. I can do that. There's someone right over here. Oh, I bet they're... I bet they're up. Or on the outside? Does it look like there's an- oh, oh, hello, I see you. How does one get up there? This way. Uh-oh. Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> here we are, and we'll be here for a while now. Oh, I'm getting clipped on that dang. Huh. Okay. 
Oh, I guess I could have. <laughs> I'm just taking this, taking the stairs. You know, <laughs> just we had to be extra about it. So, all right. Roldard. Here's a sandwich. You have my thanks. For this, of course, but also for the battle. I remember you well. Though we lost many, it would have been many more without your aid. Cool. Hello, friend. Master Mud. Bjorn. The sandwich. Ah, oh, food, thank you. And may I just say, it's a true honor to have you here. Your bravery on the field will not soon be forgotten. Aren't I supposed to be keeping like a low profile sort of thing? Wicked White, you're her. You were there in the middle of it all. Strong as a hundred men. A bulwark against the tide of eaters that threatened to overwhelm us. And now you've brought me a sandwich. <laughs> That was cute. <laughs> Thanks for the sandwich. Where's this guy? Up here, maybe? Uh, nope. But this is up here. And we will grab this. And then, other guy is down. Ah, right here. Okay. Joan Rick. Chathook's mother made this. That's the best news I've had in days. Her cooking is excellent. I was sorry that we couldn't save their home, but at least their whole family made it out alive. Yep. That's good that their family made it out. Mmm. Okay. Pleased, were they? I expected as much. I apologize for asking such a trifling task of you, but we lost a lot of people on that battlefield. Anything that might raise morale is well worth trying. And I, I thought that if they admire you even half as much as I do, well... <clears throat> In any case, you have my sincerest gratitude. I saved my favorite portion of the food for you, so please, take it along with my thanks. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now that we've got that, I want to go do this. Mord Souk. Oh, we haven't attuned it. Okay. Follow Pursuits. This is the, um... Roll quest. So these replaced the class quests. And now we have tank, healer. I think just melee. I don't think there's a ranged melee. Or there's a ranged melee. I think just physical DPS. I don't think there's a melee DPS or a melee physical and a ranged physical. But they're also. Mm, I don't know. Did they. I, I don't know how they're broken up. So there might be a ranged and a melee. And physical doesn't come into play. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Let me let me take a look at that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Giga tender. Ah! <laughs> he almost got me. Ooh, da, da, da. And it chill lo fi beats, you know? Alrighty. Sarig. So you came. It's good to see someone who isn't all talk. As fortune would have it, another Sin Eater, a far less imposing specimen than Phrenosis, or Phrenesis, of course, has been sighted just to the west of here. Prove to me you have the skill to back up your words, and we'll talk further. Okay. Am I okay? Oh, I could have just... Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I like exploring on my own. 
not on rails. Alright, he wants me to take out some Sin Eater over here. Get out Wing Sauce while we're at it. Where's my Gesho Greens? There they are. Whoop. A wing Sauce. What am I playing right now? Black Mage. <laughs> oh, I still didn't look up when you use Umbral Soul. Let me read this again. Nullifies Astral Fire and P cost. Maybe at the end of this rotate. Oh, crap. Maybe at the end of the fire rotation. And reduces MP cost for flare. Do you use it with AoE maybe? With for flare. Hmm, interesting. Good show, friend. I wasn't sure what to expect from you, but seeing you in battle has left me with little doubt. Seems I've found myself a formidable ally. And so I'll extend the offer in earnest. Help me hunt down for Nisus, and we'll split the bounty down the middle. Well, what do you say? That's the spirit. Now, there's more you should know before we proceed. Come with me to Mordsuk, my base of operations, and I'll fill you in on the details. Okay. I'm gonna be really lazy right now. I just hearth up there. <laughs> Alright, Serig. Welcome to Mordsuk, friend. As you can see, it's a bustling trading post frequented by merchants from across the realm. At least it was before Phronesis showed up and started preying on unwitting travelers. Hence the bounty you see. The lucrative reward has attracted the attention of one capable bounty hunter after the next, yet the fiend still roams free. You can probably imagine why. Those few who have seen Phronesis and return to tell the tale speak of the great horrors they witnessed. Cavernous, black holes materializing out of thin air, swallowing everything around them into the abyss. Uh-oh. People have taken to calling him the Hollows. Rumor has it that one barely has time to lay eyes on Phronesis before he summons forth the Hollows, which proceed to consume everything in sight. And they do mean everything. Just the other day, an entire caravan was devoured by the Hollows, leaving only nothingness behind. Mages have postulated that these holes are literally tears in the fabric of our reality, gateways to the other worlds, and put it another way, or to put it another way, at any rate, suffice to say that the man next, or the next man to come back from the void will be the first. Oh, dang. And yet, that's something odd about it all. Witnesses say that Phronesis doesn't seem to go out of his way to prey on people or settlements. He simply shambles across the wastes, Summoning hollows one after the next, and the destruction follows as a matter of course. Needless to say, drawing too near to the fiend is tantamount to suicide. Even attacks from afar have been all but futile, as Phronesis simply summons the hollows to consume every incoming error, arrow. With every conceivable means of attack foiled, even the most savvy bounty hunters have all but thrown up their hands, even though the bounty now stands at some nine or tenfold the original amount. I'm of a different mind, however. The way I see it, if only there or the way I see it, if only there were a way to neutralize the hollows, we'd stand or we'd more than stand a chance against Phronesis himself. I don't know why I'm having such trouble reading this. This is why I require your services. Your easy triumph over the Sin Eater spoke clear. You're a mage of no common skill. If anyone has the arcane knowledge and aptitude to help me figure out a way to defend against the hollows, it's you. Don't worry, I fully intend to shoulder my share of the burden, and so I plan to gather all the information we need before asking you to put yourself in harm's way. And with that, I'd best get to work. Once I've formulated a proper plan of attack, we'll talk again. Until then, I suggest you continue to hone your casting skills. The battle that awaits us will not be an easy one. Thank you. 
Bow, bow. All right, let's pick up the next one. Ah, there you are, and your timing couldn't be better. As luck would have it, a little bird told me that Phronesis was sighted in the vicinity not long ago. Don't you worry, I have no intention of rushing in like a fool. My plan is to shadow the Sin Eater from afar, that we might observe the hollows from with our own eyes and formulate a suitable plan of attack. To that end, I procured this mannequin here from the merchant, uh, a from a merchant acquaintance of mine at the Crystarium. By setting it on Phronesis' trail, I mean to gauge just how wide of a berth we must keep from the fiend as to not be sucked up into the void. Shed no tears for the little fellow, friend. His sacrifice will be the key to our success. And yet, as you can see, he's not quite in the best state of repair. Where is he? I think that's a player. <laughs> Pray lend me a hand in procuring what we need to get him back on his feet. Okay. You're a lifesaver, friend. I just spotted nasty-looking sandskin Sibley lurking about to the east of here, and I do believe one of their tendons should serve well to put some spring back in the little fellow's step. Snag one for me, and I'll see to the repairs. Will do, will do. Gotta go get a tendon. So we're level 76, so we might be able to do... Um, Every two levels, I believe, they gave you one of these quests. Might be able to do a couple of them. However, um, I would need to look at if they take us to a zone we haven't been to yet. Also, yeah, I, I thought I remembered there being a aether current on top of this. What are those turtles doing over there? <laughs> Okay, not one of these. Aha! The lookout here, I'm gonna grab this while we're here. Slash lookout. Beautiful. Then we'll go get this. Camp right there. And we're la 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 la. Ah! Alright, let me do, um. What if I do. I'm gonna s test and see what it does, and then. a flare. Okay. Got it. And then which one does it say that it gives? It increases fire. And which umbral does it give? Grants one umbral heart. Let me get out of here. I'm testing stuff. Interesting. Okay. Got the tendon. Turn it back in. I know I'm really lazy because it's right there, but... <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. That's a cool chocobo. What, what barding is that? Any luck finding that tendon? For my part, I've acquired something that should serve as a makeshift gear. Cost me an arm and a leg, but hey, if it helps us claim that bounty in the end, it'll be more than worth it. Perfect. Yes, I reckon this is durable and elastic enough to replace the mannequin's snapped drive belt. I'll fetch my toolbox and get started straight away. In the meantime, why don't you scout us out a suitable looking point? Uh, Phronesis was last sighted just southeast of town. Try to find us a spot on higher ground, out of sight from the main thoroughfare. Okay. Oh, jingle bell. Batman smell. Robin laid an egg. <laughs> this is the mount that, um, kills me on the new character I created that I don't have. 
I'm like... <laughs> All other, like, seasonal and limited mounts, like, even whispers, like, okay, whatever. But this snowman, I love it so much. <laughs> I need the snowman. Luckily, our character, Vesper, has it. All right, are we gonna find uh, Phronesis here? Oh, look at him. Oh, there, friend. As you can see, our clockwork friend is back in tip-top shape. And since it appears you've found us the perfect lookout spot, why don't we get down to work? I'll kindle, kindle us a fire. We might be here for a while. Rip clockwork friend. Well, I'll be. There's the bastard. Look closely now and hold your gaze. You must witness the sheer horror with your own two eyes. Uh oh, there he is. You're just creating void rifts? We're awfully close for uh, wanting to observe from afar. No, we mustn't send out the mannequin too soon. If Ronisa sees it, he may very well blast it to bits before it has a chance to investigate the hollows. Uh. And there he goes. I'll send the mannequin to in to trail him. Let's sit back and enjoy the show. Oh. Bye, fella. Oh. And there he goes. <laughs> Just as I expected. Gone without a trace. Shed no tears for our little friend. Through his sacrifice, we know now just how much distance we must keep We must keep from the hollows to avoid being sucked into the void. Now it's our turn. Let's edge a bit closer and see what we can observe. Mind you, take care not to wander too close, lest you fancy a vacation to a dark, shadowy abyss. I mean, I think I've been to there. Isn't that World of Darkness? <laughs> it's as if a shadowy whirlwind rages inside, ready to suck anything and everything into the void. I've seen many a horrific sight in my day, but this sends a shiver up the spine. Let me out! It's so dark in here! Oh, a voice, huh? Hmm? Why the pale face, friend? You look as if you've seen a ghost. A voice, you say? From inside the hollow, but that's impossible. Is anyone out there? Please help me! Help me get out of here! Are you alive? Was that a voice? Is someone out there? If you can hear me, please, you must help me. I can't see anything. No road, no trees, not even an aether current to follow. Which way do I go? How do I get out of this place? This voice. What in the God's name is it saying? He can, So he can't understand it or can't hear it. The voice of a voice, or the <laughs> voice, the voice of a boy, you say, claims he's lost inside with no aether current to follow. Sounds like he's adrift in the flow. Not unlike what would happen if an Aetherite to which one was teleporting was destroyed in mid-journey. Wait a minute. What if there was some way you could channel your Aether into the void? Might that not allow your etheric form to serve as a beacon of sorts to guide the child back to us? Of course, not that I know how we'd go about that. Hmm? You reckon you could do just that? I won't even think of asking how. Do your damnedest. 
like a tuning to an Aether current or Wicked White, I knew you were no ordinary sinner, but even still you find ways to surprise me. Do we know this kid? Wait, do we know this kid? Where? Where am I? Well, I'll be damned. There was a child inside. Our little expedition has left us with more questions than answers, eh? But for now, this boy needs our care. Let us carry him back to Mordsuk and find him a warm bed and some nourishment. I don't think we know this guy. <laughs> All right, where'd they go? They're up here somewhere. Gel, gel. Okay. They had to go furthest away from us. Serig. The boy's resting now. He is weak, but not wounded. At least as far as I can tell. Needless to say, his presence raises questions. Are there others trapped on the other side of the hollows? If so, might they also be returned to our world alive? There is much we must ask him when he awakes. On another subject, uh, this might be an odd question, but have you ever looked after a child before? <laughs> as a matter of fact... You don't say. In that case, he's all yours. <laughs> I'm jesting, friend. I can't very well tie you down here forever. Worry not. I'll manage somehow. I suppose the first order of the day should be to get some food in his belly. He does look terribly pale, after all. Methinks I'll go hunting for some meat. No, perhaps I should take him to a physician first. After all, he may be suffering from some ailment inscrutable uh, to the eye. Or maybe I should... Damn it all, I knew I wasn't cut out for this. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, let's talk to him again. Ah, there you are. You'll be happy to know that the boy is awake and seems to be no worse for the wear, physically speaking at least. There's just one rub, you see. He has no recollection of where he came from or just how he managed to get swallowed up into the void. Huh. In fact, other than his own name, Tainer, yeah, we definitely don't know him, he can't remember such much of anything at all. He seems a good lad, mind you, eats my half-arse cooking with a smile and nary a word of complaint, yet I reckon he's hurting inside and badly. We must reunite him with his parents with all due speed. I suggest that he go for a stroll around Mord Souk in the hopes that the sights might help to jog his memories. He can't have wandered far. Why don't you go check up on him? You just let him go wander by himself? Like, I wouldn't let... I, I would... This guy... Go with them, man. <laughs> Bird bone. There he is, Tainer. Hey, kiddo. Do not tell me. You are the one who rescued me from the flow, yes? I feel from you the same warmth that reached out to me when I was adrift in the Aether. Well, I'll be damned. The boy's a sharp one. And that's not the least of it. The carer who examined him said they could feel great power well welling up from within him. Despite his young age, Tainer here seems to possess a remarkable command of the magical arts. Perhaps I do, and yet I cannot say. Try as I might, I can recall nothing of who I am or where I came from. Only the darkness. No need for apologies, boy. You did well just to make it back to us. Speaking of which, can you remember anything at all of what you felt when you were adrift in the void? That I remember, or at least I think I do. I recall a vague sensation of someone passing alongside me. 
Indeed, I believe this is what roused me from my slumber. Hmm. If the hollows truly are a gate between worlds, that would mean that someone recently traveled from ours to another, or from another to ours. But that's not possible. Or is it? Uh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> You know something I don't, friend. Worry not, I won't pry for details. Ah, oh, well, no sense racking our brains over matters beyond our comprehension. Let's concentrate on what we can do. Namely, finding the boy here a home. No doubt his memories will come back to him in due time. You'd truly do that? For me? The two of you have already saved my life. I couldn't possibly burden you any further. Ha! Huh, it's no burden at all. Besides, if we can figure out just who you are, and where you came from, it just might lead us to the answers we seek. Now, let's consider the options. One possibility is that you're an orphan, all alone in this world, with not a soul to care for or look after you. And yet, this seems unlikely. Yes, the mystical powers you possess say otherwise. If you are truly as skilled in magic as they say, then it stands to reason that someone trained you in the art. Who this master of yours is, and whether you are of their blood, or simply receive their tutelage, this I cannot say. But either way, I'm certain they're worried sick about you. If that truly is so, I would very much like to meet this person, too. That settles it, then. Let's get down to business. I took the liberty of inquiring around Mordsuk and the Crystarium. Unfortunately, there have been no reports of missing persons matching Tainer's description, which means that we have no choice but to take our search elsewhere. I know of a merchant in town whose travels often take him far afield. Let us have a talk with him and see if he's heard any helpful rumors. Okay. I'm curious, like, I've not done this quest before, so I'm curious where this leads. I have, like, conspiracy theories going off in my head. <laughs> about who this kid is, but... Honestly, I do not know. So it's exciting to experience a story we haven't done before. Alright, savvy merchant. Rumors of a missing boy, you say? Funny that you ask. It's a long shot, I reckon, but I overheard something the other day that might be of use. On my way to Mordsuk, I stopped over at the inn at Journey's Head. There, I met an ailing mage. As Cares told it, he'd been ambushed by a Sin Eater and was separated from his child in the battle. Bloody hells, could it be? If the Sin Eater that attacked the poor man was Phrenosis, that would explain everything. This man you speak of, he could be my father? We must go to him at once. Agreed. I only hope that the man is... No, there is no point in presuming the worst. Let us make for the inn and see what the Carers there can tell us. Aw, oh, man, is he afflicted? That would suck. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Music came on just as I was starting to sing. Okay. Oh there. I hear there's a mage in your care who's lost his boy. Well, I do believe we have him right here. Hmm? I fear there must be some mistake. The boy in question has already been found. This is him, right here. Aww. What? So it wasn't my father after all. This boy with you, he too has been separated from his family? Just so. We heard that a man here was looking for his son, and we just hoped... Alas, it seems it wasn't meant to be. But there are many people here, yes? Might I ask around and see if any of the others are my family? But of course. Yet many of the people here are quite ill, and in many cases, in considerable pain. It is not a place for a young child to walk around unattended. Indeed, it's not. Guess that means either myself or Vesper here should accompany him. I'll go with them. 
The walk might help me, or take my minds off things. Ah, Not a bad idea, if the lad doesn't mind. I reckon Tainer would rather be with someone of his own age. Bye, kiddos. Takes mind off things? Speaking of which, how is the boy's father holding up? I fear the poor man has already departed on his journey. He is a man no longer. Aww. The child insisted upon staying by his father's side until the last. I permitted this out of respect for him, though part of me regrets the choice. None so young should suffer such horrors. It was some small solace to learn that he has living relatives who reside at the Crystarium. In fact, I was just making preparations to escort him there myself. I see. Reckon we should also find someone to look after Tainer as well. Don't get me wrong, friend. I haven't given up on the prospect of finding the boy's family. But we have no other leads, and a deadly Sin Eater still on the loose. If the lad tags along with us every step of the way, he's far more likely to end up dead or worse than to ever reunite with his family. Here's what I propose. We find someone to watch after Tainer for the time being, get back on the hunt, and gather whatever clues we can about his origins along the way. Very well, but we must see that he is safe. Aye, that goes without saying. Let, let us have a talk with the proprietor of the Wandering Stairs. He's a kindly enough chap, and knows damn near everyone in these parts. With any luck, he'll be able to direct us to a willing and able guardian. Look, I don't like this any more than you do, but it's the best we can do for the boy given our circumstances. At any rate, let's find him and share the news. Don't worry, it's my decision, and I intend to take responsibility for it. We're really going to just give up on this kid. I think he should stay with you, man. <laughs> I know you don't know how to take care of a kid, but you don't have to be perfect to take care of a kid. Bad news, friend. Seems the two young ones got into a quarrel of sorts and Tainer's up and run away. Wait, what? Seems the lad mentioned how he'd come out of from one of the hollows. The other boy put two and two together and figured he'd been attacked by a Sin Eater. Then I said, I said, my dad was attacked by a Sin Eater, and then he turned into one himself. So I asked, what if, what if you turn into a Sin Eater too? Tanner's face went all white. He kept saying, what do you mean? What do you mean? Over and over and over again. I just, I couldn't take it anymore. Before I knew it, I was shouting at him. Shut up. Just shut up. I bet you're turning into a Sin Eater already. Why? Why did I say such a mean and nasty thing? Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. Both of you had to have a rough go of it these past few days. Nobody could blame either one of you for feeling a bit on edge. But we must hurry and find Tainer before he comes to harm. Let's split up. I'll search to the west and you take the east. And be careful out there. Hey man, I wasn't expecting that. I was actually expecting to go find this kid like a... A place where he could uh, be safe. Okay, well, let's go find him. Where'd he go? Oh, my pony, by the way. One of the ponies I was actually able to get. <laughs> we'll do the rest of the pony grinds um, when we get to the end of the story, which might be actually end of Endwalker, so. Actually, let me... Is this, and this, and then this, and then that. I don't know what the- oh god, wait, wait. I don't know what the correct go about thing for this is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
do to do to do do da 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 How long does um in this choker region? How long does this last? You okay, kiddo? Aw, he's- uh, that's so sad that he's shaking like that. When I heard the clamor of battle, I feared the worst, but I see you have everything under control. You okay, lad? Well, are you? But forgive me, I- I don't deserve this kindness. I, I was just so scared. I was worried about what would become of me if I never recovered my memories. Then I started thinking, what if I ended up like that boy's father? What if it's already happening to me? That's one matter you needn't worry yourself with. The carer who examined you told me as much. You suffered no direct wounds. You're in no more danger of turning into a sin eater than Vesper or me. Is, is that so? That's good to hear, but I- I must apologize to that boy. I should have known better than to badger him about such things, especially after what happened to his father. Please adopt him. <laughs> Funny thing, that he was saying same thing about you. You both have good hearts, lad, and you've been through more than any man should. There's no need to be ashamed about your feelings. There is still so much I do not understand about this world. Why does no one here know of me? Am I doomed to be alone the rest of my days? Why? Why must it be this way? If only I could remember something, anything. I'm sick of not knowing who I am. I'm sick of being alone. Are we about to have an echo? Oof, yes. <laughs> Give me some answers. Always with a couple of the others. Now it's your turn, Tainer. And do not be disheartened by your last attempt. Even the greatest of mages have known failure. Your command of magic is the equal of my own. If I can succeed, there is no reason why you cannot. Free your mind or worry and focus. Thank you, Nalbert. Hmm. <laughs> I shall try my best. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. Wicked White, are you all right, Vesper? I remember now. I was standing here on these blighted plains. My head hung low in shame. Then Nilbert turned to me with a smile and heartening words. Nilbert, why does the name sound so familiar? I reckon we've much to discuss, but not in this God's forsaken place. Let's head back to the inn and see if we can't get to the bottom of this. Hmm. <laughs> what a good quest line so far. That just looks so cool, the big flood. Wrapping up in that... The city's getting blown away in the middle of all of it.
Tanner, are you all right? I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said those nasty things. Forgive me for reacting as I did. I'm, I'm fine. In fact, I seem to have recovered some of my memories. Really? That's wonderful. Maybe, maybe you won't feel so scared and alone anymore. I'm leaving to go live in the Crystarium with my relatives. Promise me you'll come visit? I mean, after you get your memories back and all, of course. It's a promise. Until next time, my friend. Bye, kiddo. Take care of yourself. I knew that you two would work things out. Now, let us return to Mordsuk. We have more than our share of questions that need answering. Hmm. I think, uh, do we know who Nilebert is? Because I think I know who that is. <laughs> But I can't, I can't remember if that name has ever been said to us or if it's me knowing like from later on. <laughs> As I saw it, first you fainted all of a sudden. But when you came to, a portion of Tanner's memories had returned. What in the world happened out there? Uh, yeah, so I have the blessing of Hyland. <laughs> but that's uh, kind of bad in your world, I guess. So I don't really want to tell you that. The power to look into the past, eh? And you're certain that what Vesper described matched up with your recollection of the past. I don't know how to break this to you, lad, but your friend Nilebert that was with you that day? He's no ordinary boy. Oh, here we go. He's none other than the very man who became Phronesis, one of those goddamn warriors of light. If he was just a young child in your memories, that means that what you saw took place over 100 years ago. Would that it were just a coincidence. Another boy with the same name? But no, judging from the formidable command of magic, we can only assume it was him. On the way back, I managed to recall some more, about Nilebert and myself. We were taken in by a group of mages, a consortium of sorts. They were searching for a means to open a hole to another world, and were recruiting young children with high magical aptitude for the task. Nilebert and myself were the two they chose. You can't be serious. And yet, that would explain the Sin Eater's ability to summon those damned hollows. And if you possess the same knowledge of training as Nilebert did, it could also explain why you were able to survive in there all that time. But what I don't understand is, why haven't you aged at all? I cannot say for sure. And yet, my memories, they are slowly coming back to me. In time, I may be able to help you find a way to close the hollows. You'd be a lifesaver if you could. But don't overburden yourself. You're still recovering, after all. In the meantime, don't worry. Vesper and I will see that you're safe. Oh, you changed your mind, buddy. <laughs> I thought Tanner was just a victim of the Sin Eater. To think he was actually friends with that man himself, or... Er, Back when he was still a man. This can't be simple coincidence. Yes, I'm convinced of it now. The child holds the key to defeating Phronesis. We must keep him safe and not let him out of our sights. Besides, look at how hard he's trying to recover his memories. I'm not so heartless as to kick the poor lad aside before he's figured matters out. Aww. <laughs> I like him. But we can't very well rush things. You and I will continue to prepare for the battle ahead while waiting for the rest of Tanner's memories to come back to him. And that is to say, if it's all right with you, lad. I, I'm so sorry. I couldn't possibly burden you any further. Look, lad, I've only known you a short while, but I can tell you have a good heart and a good head on your shoulders. I can only begin to imagine the horrors you've been through, not to mention the fears and uncertainty you face even now. But I want you to promise me this. No more apologies. You're no burden to us, not in the least. You're a valuable member of our band, and as long as you're willing, I want you with us. Isn't that right, Vesper? Yeah, man. I... I see. Thank you, Sarig. Thank you, Vesper. I will aid your quest in whatever way I can. Now that's more like it. We're counting on you, lad. Good guy, Sarig. <laughs> I may be crushing on him a little bit. <laughs> 
All right. Oh, we've got another one that we can do, huh? Well, I think what I'll do... Let's pick it up and just see. Good news, friend. Tainer here has told me about that his memories are starting to come back to him. There's one recollection in particular he says he's eager to discuss with the two of us. Tell us, lad. What is it? Oh, here we go. I didn't think it would be a cutscene, but... As time goes by, memories of my earlier days return to me piece by piece. Nilbert and I were born to members of a great consortium of mages. From our earliest years, we were tutored in the magical arts by some of the realm's greatest scholars. The consortium's leaders sought to find a way to open a hole in time and space, a portal to other worlds from which they could summon forth beasts of great power. Nilbert and I were chosen to participate in the research. Summoning great beasts from beyond our world? You're a mage, Vesper. Is that even possible? Perhaps he speaks of Void Sin? Void Sin? Never heard of them. But I'll take that answer as a yes. Mages come up with the damnedest ideas, eh? And yet I don't understand. Why ever would they use two young boys for such a dangerous experiment? The beasts our master sought to summon reside in the plains most distant from our own. Reaching across such a great distance requires a tremendous store of innate ethereal power. So our master set about to breed the perfect mage. Marriages were arranged to wed the mightiest members of the consortium to one another. What the hell? In hopes that they would bring forth children of therefore, theretofore unheard of magical aptitude. Finally, they succeeded. And so you were born. And Nilebert. Indeed, from even before we could speak, we were taught the complex incantations required to breach the boundaries between worlds. We practiced these spells day after day, night after night, for what seemed an eternity. At long last, we were deemed ready to attempt the summoning. Uh-oh. Sadly, the experiment ended in failure. The pull from beyond the rift was too strong to resist, and I was sucked into a hollow of my own creation. There I remained trapped. Alone and adrift in the empty void, until Vesper called me back to this world. Alas, over a century had passed since that fateful day. Aww. That's the one thing I still don't understand. If so many years have truly passed, why is that you have not aged even a whit? I cannot say for certain, but I remember the words of one of my teachers. The rift is not unlike a border between countless worlds, a place that is, exists beyond time and space. If it is true that the rift exists outside of our concept of time, then it is all too possible that even seconds spent in that empty pocket could correspond to months, years, or decades in our world. And so you've returned to us just as you were that day, even while over a century has passed for the rest of us. But why didn't Nilebert save you? Shouldn't it have been as simple as opening up another portal to the void where you were trapped? I fear that would be close to impossible. Opening the portal and reaching as far into the rift as we did required all of our energies to be focused in unison. So in losing you, not only did Nilebert lose his friend, he lost his only chance at saving you. Talk about being a dealt a rough hand. Fear not, I have good news to share as well. I do believe I've managed to recall the incantations needed to summon and manipulate the hollows. Summoning beasts from beyond the rift is far beyond my powers, but I just might be able to seal up the hollows for Nisa so enjoys summoning. What say you, friends? Shall I give it a try? Oh ho, now that's music to my ears, but let's not be too hasty. After all, the last time you tried to use this magic, there were some complications to say the least. Yes, we must take the necessary precautions before confronting Phronesis in earnest. Let us meet outside the village where Tainer can test out his magic safe from harm. Okay. Well, we'll do that, but I think I'm going to hold off on this. Um, maybe until we get a few more levels so that we can con continue this quest. Um, <laughs> all at once. Uh, for now, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and end here. When we come back, we'll continue the main story quest and see what that has to offer. So, guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. 
if you do want to see more of the Final Fantasy XIV online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.